on the one and only YouTube as well. Welcome to every one of you who are here. Looks like uh, we're gonna be finishing the, up this piece and hopefully you guys can enjoy that. This is a Cypress Cougars, uh, Cypress Creek Cougars uh, sketch. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do too much talking, just gonna jump on in there. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments once it airs, okay? Much love to you guys right now. Let me see if we can zoom in for you. Yeah. Hello. So originally I mentioned that I will wanna have a lighting coming up from underneath here. So I have to put all my shadows at the tops of shapes which is very difficult if, um, if you don't know where your forms are and everything. So definitely it helps to just think of it as everything is a 3D shape and you're gonna try to um, make, make planes with the color that you apply. And then the drawing itself should allow for some of the uh, planes to kind of just shine through naturally. Just applying a yellow right now. I'm gonna go with a blue right now as well. Just looking for some rich color. Um, that's that's all I'm looking for when it comes to getting uh, the application of lighting in there. I want to apply the lighting, but I also want the color that I apply to come out rich, very uh, different than what you see with just the one color drawings. So I just want to add a little bit more value in there. Welcome, my name is Alani J, and I draw caricatures for a living, and I love it. Uh, I'm also the world's fastest caricature artist, and I'm very excited to share that with you. Um, I know that I'm still learning. I know that there's a lot to learn, so I'm excited to, uh, to be here and continually show some... Uh, I feel like... Other people, I've learned a lot from other people just by watching them work. So this is why I'm here. I, it feels, you know, good to have um, some influence in the whole scenario of, uh, of the arts. I do believe that a lot of people tell me that I've been making a difference in their art and everything, and that encourages me to continue to do them. So, Thank you so much for those of you who have shown the support and uh, you know, just I'm excited to be here. Ever think of those really dark colors that you don't know how to get darker than they are? This is how I do it. I just apply, you know, complementary colors first. And then I go in with the actual skin tone where it needs to be. All right, so I just applied it to the body. I'm, again, still thinking of lighting coming up from below because I want him to look like he's above everything. And, you know, since he's about to like dunk, he's flying through the air and he's about to dunk. So that's the idea behind it. How you guys doing? Welcome. A lot of the planes that you see here um, have everything to do 
with the way the lines relationships are you know the way this overlaps that cheek over there we know that this is an entire shape that's shifting forward um, I mean the center line here kind of goes forward and then back and we know that that's a plane as a result and then forward and back and that's another plane and that's how I'm determining these movements so then right down here is another plane and then there's a couple of shadows that I like to worry about most which is the form shadow and the cat and the cast shadow um, most of these are form shadows all of these are form shadows this is a cast shadow it comes from this arm covering the light that's that I'm trying to um, imply and uh, and then the lighting starts showing right in this area after the arm clears after the lighting clears the arm all right so let's these are the three colors I'm using I use the yellow first then I gotta apply the blue here these are over here on this hand they're all cast shadows the cast shadows from the ball and from the body covering the lighting onto the hand so we could just darken all of that We gotta think of the ball as a sphere. We'll get to that in just a second. Even though the uh, top lip is in light, um, there has to be color in there because it isn't uh, a white area. It is a colored area. We were talking about pinks in here and darker browns at the top on the front all the way around. So we're going to need to make that into a plane right there. And if the lighting is coming from this direction, that means that this area here on the side will actually not catch that light too much. Or rather, uh, it would actually catch that light. And then this little area right here will not catch the light so much. And around that way we're also gonna apply the pink right there might have gone too deep on that side so we gotta put it uh, just a tad more saturated with this color right here this is like a periwinkle And then where that shadow should be from the bottom lip, we're gonna apply like a violet just to darken that up, but keep it warm. And all the way out that way. So we can kind of see those value changes and then right around this way. All right, cool. Continue adding the lighting sort of coming from below here and one of the main clues is the leg if the leg is catching lighting from this side then we'll need to apply the lighting over on this side and all of the these planes will become in shadow and shadow and shadow and so on so you'll get to see those come to life in just a few moments This here is a plane on its own, which is where the cheek breaks from the side to the front and then in, and therefore it needs to be accented right there. Means the top of the lids also will need to get some of that. All right, 
and this cheek is again coming forward and it would likely be blocking some of the light so right about here there'll be a cast shadow from the lip so we're gonna just cut that right there just apply it gently not too dark at all it is still the lit area at the bottom there This I'm gonna just darken right there because I know that we're gonna have um, the lighting be cut off by this nostril there, which is another form, sort of like a cylindrical form that needs to be exalted right there too. All right, let's go right above here. Go right above there. Now we're getting all, all of the uh, planes to shine through. A little easier, right? Sometimes it's helpful to start with the shadows. Sometimes it's helpful to just isolate the lighting, you know? Um, so there's, just play it by ear or play it by color, <laughs> color by pencil, however you want to say it. You know, play it by ear. Little, little bits like this will help to um, you know just break down the process into steps that are manageable when you're starting out for those of you who are already advanced you guys already know what to do here this is a little muscle area here uh, and he does have that really pull pulling in right in there, just tucked right in there. Um, also, there will be a cast shadow from the arm. So we're just gonna take it right from there and we're gonna go around that muscle and back that way. Closest to the arm itself will be darkest, like that. And then top of the lip, top of the bottom lip that is. Just applying that color right there, just gently, because even though um, these are light areas, they are still not the highlights of the face. I guess one of the main reasons for me to do the darker uh, values first is to, you know, not get lost on what is the medium tone and whatnot, because with doing the darker first, you isolate them. Those are as dark as you can get and everything else should be lighter. So you can apply either less pressure with the color um, or you can apply a different color to that area. But it all is related, so you have to keep a certain level of um, color in there. And notice that by this being the lighting, the lit area right here, um, you will need to you will need to cast shadows from the shirt. So we'll do that right now. You know, which ultimately will kind of go around, around like that. And um, 
so that'll catch some of the lighting uh, and the shadow rather right there but also there's some things like right in here they'll, he'll seem to get this shape all lit up but then at the top right here there is another plane that I can add more dimension and that cheek as well too so we'll push it deeper uh, right in this area just to isolate this cheek which now comes out to there it looks more correct now as well and then by me pushing in just a little bit right there I'm sort of pushing into the shadow area where then this will break up into the front or rather the bottom which is catching that lighting from the bottom and we'll push this angle right here too as a shape of this continuity right here breaks up into a little bit on the side and darker on the top and the front as well now we're seeing the lighting shine a lot more on the face there This is a cast shadow, which we can just make that magical combination of the brown and blue right there, just so that we can see it as a cast shadow, as this was a cast shadow here also. We're gonna do that to this. And that's gonna differentiate the cast shadows um, on the face itself uh, from the form shadows, which to me is important. To me is you know a way of saying, okay, that's a different shadow, and that's why it looks different. Um, that's why it looks a little bit, you know, more grayed out. Okay. So what do you guys think so far? Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Oh man. So many notifications coming in. <laughs> Thanks so much to those of you who have followed me from TikTok and have come over to my other social media platforms to say hello and to uh, follow what, you know, uh, my posts and my work. All right, so that line, how do I know that there's a line and a division there? there's no real lines on the face so that means that there needs to be a division um in value so if if we know that the skin tone is a little lighter than the top lip then that means we can apply that darkness right there and have that division happen automatically and if we need to go darker we can apply a dark brown right here and still have that area be the lighter area. Okay. So I'm actually gonna push this just to the front and that to the side, that's to the bottom there. All right, so now we're getting all these lightings areas uh, hitting. We're also gonna have this little bit right little right there just because of the uh this plane right here it will cast a shadow onto it onto the nostril just a tad i remember a few years ago i wanted to start a challenge on facebook and um you know it was like drawing every day you know oh man was it tough and i gotta say like i got maybe like three days you know, when I, I, I was you know, getting into it, it was like three days in and I was like, oh my gosh, this is tougher than I thought. And I started doing, you know, I did, I think an entire, possibly an entire week. I, I can't remember, it's been a while. But when I did that, 
I realized that there are, there's a lot of things that I don't know that, you know, I feel, I felt like I had no place in showing anyone anything until I could learn those, manage those ideals. And, uh, so, you know, I would say I started to prep more. I, uh, I stopped doing those lives and I started to practice more. Um, it's interesting because I feel like if I were to do what I tell others to do, if I were to do the things that I tell others to do for practice and to improve myself, I, then, then I would be such a better artist by now, a much better artist by now. So it's very interesting. So I feel like, you know, by watching others, I've learned a lot and, um, this is why I'm here. Now that I've got some some of these uh, theories down packed uh, a little bit more, I've learned a lot more um, by doing them in the live and everything. But by by doing all of these different things of getting better, uh, I feel like I can at least help someone out there who's starting out in this, and you know who needs some direction to go off of. So hopefully you guys are getting. Um, a little bit of knowledge off of this right here. I'm going to just apply a yellowish tint to the lighting that I'm applying here. And I'm just going right on the edge of the form shadows here. So that it looks like the lighting that's actually hitting that area is yellow. That's just the one that I'm the color I'm applying, and therefore that's that's why I say yellow. You know, and it does help it. it does help it? It looks like it looks like yellow. That's cool. This is white, but because of the lighting, we're putting it yellow. Let's see what the uniform looks like. This side is gonna be blue. And put the kuga in there. And mind you, yeah, I could have done this a little bit quicker, but it's it's not about quicker right now. It's more about, you know, sharing the uh, process with you guys. So definitely taking a little bit uh, of my time here just so that I can help anyone who uh, may need it. Anyone who can use this information, that would be great. Um, and if you want to as well, you guys are welcome to share this live while it's going on right here now. You don't have to wait till the end to share it. Um, you can share it right now and some people might get some use out of the information, you know? Let's see if this Facebook, Facebook Live is going to go on as well. It looks like uh, my phone might not be compatible or something. All right, cool. So this is what we're looking at. Let's continue with the lighting right here. Let's just highlight those areas. Put that yellow in there. All right, we gotta put the yellow on the shoes too, as they are white. And then they kinda veer away on the sides into the shadows. I make it blue, but it's going to be gray given the uh, next color I will be adding to it. And again, like I've said before, the brown and the gray, um, uh, the brown and blue make a gray color. So I'm just going to apply a little bit, not too deep of a brown, but a little bit of a brown nonetheless, so that it is a rich kind of gray that is on there. And if I go too too much with the brown I can go back with the blue and it'll kind of merge the two cool 
cool. So now we're going to just apply some of these lightings and shadows, shadow areas. On there. Just thinking about where the lighting would fall on the sides and on the front of the uh, of the pants and now of the shirt and I will say that this shirt is supposed to be this uh, uniform hmm I wonder which which uniform I'm gonna make I guess I'm gonna have to go with the white one given the uh, the blue stripes here oh really okay Yeah, that's not gonna happen anymore. Okay, good. Do you think, actually, we might still be able to get away with doing uh, white stripes on this. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I wanna keep this blue, but I do wanna have those shadows in there still. So let's just go ahead and continue that now that we have a plan. Sorry if I'm not really checking the comments as they, uh, the live comments here, but I just wanna, just wanna make some progress because I have a few more drawings I gotta get done and I wanna finish this one. All right, so we've got, we got these different things that are now blocking the lighting from hitting the ball. So we're just gonna go right around here, boom. That is the initial cut of the uh, lighting from the beard. And we're also gonna put the hand cast shadow there. So that's the first cast shadow from the beard. And then this is a form shadow right back here, as well as these little guys right there. So the only place where it's going to be hit by lighting is right about in that little area right here. And that ball is going to be brown. Very, very bright kind of brown, just to really bring those shapes back there. I'm gonna really push on that side as we uh, create the cast shadow and then just kind of give it just a little bit of pressure on the lighter area here. Continue on to darker area, but right back here, this is the form and the cast shadow from the finger. Hopefully that starts to project now. So that's the kind of thing I was talking about. So we're trying to give it these little undulations right there, which man gives it so much movement. And on the light and the white areas, we want it to just be yellow, just yellow. All right, cool. And again, on the cast shadows, I want to do a blue so that it'll look grayed out, and to just literally you know cut away some of the warmth that the yellow 
uh, as the lighting, as the light source would, would show. Right back here as well, we're going to go with the brown now that we've applied our base color of yellow and blue. And I just push that arm all the way back there. It is important to think about, you know, other light sources because there's always like a bouncing light, you know. Um, even if someone is, you know, just with their phone on this side, you know, for that matter, we can have like a different light source that is just bright enough to get this to be a little lighter than, you know, the skin tone, for example. Um, and that'll also give things a little bit more volume as you progress here. That make sense? All right, so now that we applied the blue and the yellow where we need it, we're gonna go in with the black onto the little mustache there, or uh, beard there. Let's see. Just, just, just enough. We're gonna apply right on top of the blue. And through doing that, you can now start to see where the lighting is really hitting. Okay, and where the these drop shadows are really coming from. I keep calling them drop shadows because of uh, Photoshop, but it's, they're cast cast shadows. <laughs> Thanks so much for those of you who are sticking around. And saying hello. continue on with the bottom here I'm going just a tad dark right off the bat mainly um, because it is a black area just like this um, it doesn't need to be sort of kept light um, it could be it could go dark right away or rather very saturated right away and that's only because of you know that's a, a dark area that I got to go over this is part of the chin here. There we go. All right, we're gonna use this royal blue. Let's see. Let's do. Let's actually do the blue right over on the mustache area, mixed with the brown and the other blue and the yellow is going to form a much darker color than just a blue which is what we need so that that shows as a beard there or a mustache and then this will show as the uh, beard this is not a plane that goes forward so I'm gonna need to just knock that back just like this one is over here
If you need to get those values darker at the top, do so. And make sure that the lighting still shines through in the lighter areas. All right, so let's get, let's move on to the hair here. Break out these shapes, break up these shapes into those form shapes as well, and make a back side to it and a front side to it. When I say back, that means the one that is away from the light, and then the front is the one that's facing the light. Even like this. It makes sense the way it's being shown with the shadows and the uh, the lighting and everything because the, the lighting itself is is making these. And let's just say the other lighting that's on the other side of this is a blue light. You know, you don't even have to apply the actual black on there if you don't want to, based on the lighting will do that for it. Um, but at the same time, if you leave the if you do apply the black it will all become more of a rich transition from one color to the next from the front to the back there has to be an edge just that little edge right on that blue area will then show the color that the thing actually is whatever it is you're coloring So you don't have to, but um, you can. And if you feel like it should, then do it, you know? Um, to be honest with you, it is a matter of, when you're creating your own lighting, it is a matter of preference. You know, what do you prefer to see? And also, if you feel like you need to practice on a different sheet of paper, like, oh, okay, how will this look? Do that, you know, that's also another way of studying the whole process and becoming better. Cast shadow from the ear. And just like that, we start to see a lot more of what it is of the hair and everything. I did add a little bit more detail on the hair with the color stick just by, you know, making these notches. Uh, that creates those braid uh, flow. Um, also, I had to make this darker than the actual skin tone because we want that hair to show as black not as brown. We leave it the same value, although it's a different hue. That could also work. 